Hello, hello everybody, this is Tip Top Gaming here today with another Magic the Gathering video. In today's video, I'm going to be breaking down some more information about the 2020 Challenger decks. I'm going to be talking about today what I would change about them. So if you're going to buy this and say you have some extra money and you want to upgrade this deck, what could you do? Because, you know, you might be wanting to do that. And so I'm going to break these down in order of a price from low to high, so, or value, so... Um, we're gonna start with Allied Fires. Now, I think this deck is honestly the hardest one to upgrade it. It's honestly missing the most from a true uh, Fires of Invention deck. So, what I would like to do is just, um, I'm, I'm gonna show you what a typical version of this deck looks like. So, a typical version of this deck, actually, it's been kind of shifting out of the meta a little bit, but this is what a typical version of the deck looks like, and it runs, basically, the only Planeswalkers are Tefiri, and, uh, if we were to go over here, you'll notice it's a very Planeswalker heavy deck, so it's a Jaskai Super Friends deck. Now, coming over here, what they're really missing are things like Dream Trawler, which really is in any blue-white uh, deck. Um, and then they're also missing all the Cavaliers, because the Cavaliers really, they're kind of hard to cast in a multicolored deck, but that's what Fires of Invention helps with. And then, honestly, um, it's just, like, if you're going to, it's just missing some of the Power. I mean, your goal here is to win with Sarkhan the Masterless, and honestly, if that's your win con, you probably want to put one more of him in here, and so what I would do is, if I were to give you just here are the cards I would do, I would take out uh, the three Kazminas, because honestly, they're not that big of a deal, and I would throw in a Sarkhan, and then maybe I'd bump up Ugin, because that's kind of fun, but honestly, I would just take out the three Kazmina, put a Sarkhan, and then put two Cavaliers of either Gales or Fire, whichever one you want, and those can get pretty pricey, so that's probably where I'd leave it. Um, in, in terms of the rest of the stuff, honestly, the rest of the stuff seems pretty good. I might up this to one more Drawn from Dreams and uh, maybe knock down a Omen of the Sea. Um, but just the, the little changes like that. But the big change here is adding Cavaliers and maybe adding Sarkhan. And I would get rid of Kazmina. And then if you're looking for someone to get rid of after that, I would probably get rid of... It's, it's kind of a hard choice, but either some Omens or... I would also get rid of Sahili. Well, you are running a lot of Planeswalkers, and so that could help, but if you're going to cut down on the Planeswalker theme and go for more creatures, then Sahili ends up being less useful. So depending on how many cards you're replacing, you might want to also replace Sahili. That's just something to keep in mind. Then, of course, one thing, the land base. You can always adjust a land base. For instance, you could replace uh, some of these uh, Tranquil Coves with some... Shocklands or this Windsguard Crag, you could replace that with a Shockland, but those are obvious upgrades. I'm talking more about the individual deck list here. Alright, so moving on to Final Adventure. Um, this one is a Golgari Adventures deck, and uh, this one isn't doesn't seem that hard to upgrade. Now, it, it has the important things for Lucky Clovers, for Lovestruck Beast, you know, for Edgewall Innkeepers. However, the little things here that could change include probably bumping up Veraska to at least a two of. And honestly, what I would do is I would take out, um, I believe it is... Uh, I would take out Smitten Swordmaster. Honestly, you, I mean, you do run a decent amount of knights, but that's not really your theme here. You're going more for, um, for, for creatures, and so I would probably take that out, uh, one or two of them, replace them with Varaskas. On top of that, I would try to up Murderous Rider to four of, because that's a very powerful card. Maybe, uh, taking out, um, again, maybe Smitten Swordmaster, and then also Disfigure, I would personally probably replace this with Drag to the Underworld or Eat to Extinction. Something that's a little bit better in terms of just removal because this only does 2-2. Two -two. So yeah, Eat to Extinction or Drag to the Underworld are wonderful cards. Um, yeah. So why don't we move on to the next one? Oh, okay, sorry. One more thing. Obviously, you could replace the lands. Now let's move on to the next one. Um... Cavalcade Charge, so this is a mono red deck. Now, this one I think requires the least amount of changing. It's worth actually the most money, so I think this one is probably your best buy. And after I talk about each deck, I'm going to talk about the value overall and, you know, how easy it is to upgrade them. Here, um, the only thing I could really say is maybe add a couple more Ember Cleaves, but at, um, which I believe the price tanked on these recently. Um, Oh, wait, that's because I'm looking at uh, paper. There we go, paper uh, prices, sorry. And uh, these are actually pretty expensive, so adding those is a very big investment. Um, other than that, like, I would probably just take out, like, a... Uh 
you know, I, you could take out some like Tinscreet Dodger, Dodgers, maybe a Rimrock Knight, or even Runaway Steamkin, and put in some more Ember Cleaves, and that would be good. Honestly, this is kind of a mix of two strategies. You might want to reduce it to one, but honestly, I think it's fine the way it is, and there's not much you have to do here. And then Flash of Ferocity. This one kind of has been cycling out a little bit of standard. But there are some very important cards. For instance, I would up the counter magic in this. Okay, so we have Quench, Thassa's Intervention, and Sinister Sabotage. Um, I guess that's enough counter magic, but you may want to throw in some more instant seed spells. I would get rid of, I guess you also have Frilled Mystic, so I don't think you really need more counter spells. But I, what I would do is I would add more Wave Break Hippocamps. And um, maybe I'd cut back on like a Spectral Sailor or two. Honestly, this deck needs a little bit. I don't know, it just feels, it feels like it's missing something. You might want to up this in terms of Brazen Bar Wars, but again, that's a, that's about 40 bucks. Is that say online? Oh my gosh, stop online. Paper, there we go. Brazen Bar Wars, 25 bucks. So it's a big investment. Honestly, it, this one's falling out of favor. The Adventure deck is falling out of favor. Even Jeskai Fires is falling out of favor. Right now, Azorius Control and Mono Red are the two big ones. So if you were going to out, out to buy this and you're like, I want the deck that's going to do the best, I would get the Mono Red deck. Um, this one feels the best. And um, I touched this on this in one of my earlier videos. I think that it's probably your best investment in terms of future standard. Mono Red has been in the format for a very long time now as a deck that maybe isn't always number one, but it's always there. You know, you don't always see a Golgari deck, you don't always see a Jeskai deck, um, but here you're almost guaranteed to have your Fervent Champion have at least a little bit of use after the next rotation, or even after Ikoria. There's a high chance that these cards stay relevant, whereas, you know, there are entire deck archetypes that just flop after a new set comes out, and on top of that, this deck doesn't really have a one card that you could ban and it would lose. For instance, Cavalcade of Calamity. A lot of people, I, and me included, think this is the card that if any of them should be banned, it should be uh, Cavalcade of Calamity, and I agree, but if you take out Cavalcade of Calamity, you're actually not doing that much. A lot of decks now aren't running it. They're instead going Ember Cleave, just hit you in the face really hard. You could, you know, if you really wanted to disable the red deck, you'd have to ban um, Cavalcade of Calamity, Torbrand, and Emberclave, and I don't think they're really going to do that. So, I honestly think you're pretty safe with the mono red deck. I think Jeskai Fires has a high chance of being banned, although now that they're printing this, I think that any card in these decks is very unlikely to be banned. Um, the Flash of Ferocity, that one's falling out of favor. It, honestly, just the red one seems to have the most value and, like, the most... It, it's the most expensive. It's the one that requires the least amount of upgrading, and it's the one that's going to hold its power the longest. So, honestly, I think it's the literal best one to buy, which it honestly poses another problem of the fact that stores have to buy all four at a time, which means that you're going to be stuck with three of them, or they're going to raise the price of the red one. A lot of people, especially saying these have $108 paper value, are going to, instead of selling them, you know, purchased or like as packs, they're going to sell them as singles. And so, honestly, I think that the other decks, they, they it, this product is really hard for them to do, and I understand that it's just really hard to not see the flaws in the fact that Cavalcade Charge is the best and it honestly kind of shows you the the state of standard now. They do go on to, like, the most chase cards, which here's the most chase cards from each one, and you'll notice it's kind of representative of the deck. I mean, it's just... Mm. And then it's just overall the red deck is going to do the best for you, so that's the one I recommend. So if you guys want me to do a more in-depth thing where I give you exact deck lists instead of just saying, hey, I take out a couple of these, add a couple of these, uh, leave a comment down below or like the video or something like that. Let me know that you want to see a like very like this is the deck list that I did. I had a $40 budget and I added all this and made it better. Let me know if you want to see that. Either way, guys, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.